It's to do with how we're shaping the sound in the space. You're responding to the sound, and you're also responding to other people. Let's focus on the feet, on our feet. Relax the muscles of your feet. Feel the contact with the floor, the contact with the earth, however you want to think about it. When the music or the soundscape would change, I found myself easily changing my movement pattern. My body was very quick to respond, so that I would perhaps be standing very still, holding a shape, and then as soon as the sound came, and I could either take another shape or suddenly go into a repeated movement or gesture. I'm always nervous about performance. I mean, I've even been nervous about each one we've done because, well, yeah, because we're all on show suddenly and I haven't been quite certain about how far I should go with what I'm doing. I had a word with Maria and she said I should be as wild as I like. Dance and movement is for all of us. And the stories our bodies have to tell are fascinating. And we can be up there. The soundscapes are quite efficient way of transcending to another place. So when the music is there, or not exactly music, but the soundscape, um, it allows me to get out of my head a bit. As a performer, I, I often can kind of get stuck in my head, but the soundscape just takes me somewhere else. This is my new program on women's rights, promoting women's rights internationally. One, well, I'm responding to the sound. So we're freezing moments, so we're making things like a frozen sculpture in a moment, not for long, and then we're murmuring. From my observations of the other group, that's what they're doing, and that's what I think we're trying to do. Well, each of those tableaus is creating different kinds of shapes, so I would think that's the sculptural element of it. This is my I had a word with Maria, and she said I should be as wild as I like. Dancing, 
This is my three. Three. One, two, three. This, this is my dream.